Okay, we're going to work on a, um, <clears throat> a little strengthening system here to go from this front plate over to... I got the camera set on macro, so bear with me here, guys. Over to this back plate. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to install a rod. It's a quarter inch rod. Sorry for your metric guys. I'm thinking it's probably about six millimeters. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little plate back here with a dimple in it. And the rod is going to go from here underneath the belt all the way back here. And we're going to drill a hole in the acrylic plate. So it's going to be a threaded rod, and we're, then we're just going to put a, a, uh, a nut with a washer against the acrylic. So what it's going to do is it's going to spread, spread these two plates apart. Quarter inch rod or six millimeter. So here's the little sketch I made. And that, um, you have to print out this, this tensioner on the front. This works on an A-Net A6 or an A8. Um, I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description for this tensioner. It's a really nice tensioner. So basically, this rod is going to go directly underneath this belt. I got the tension slacked off on here. It's going to go directly underneath the belt. We're going to drill a hole in the back so that this rod can slide through. And on this side, it's going to push against this so we're gonna we're gonna cut this rod to the right size we're gonna drill a hole we're gonna make this plate and we're gonna put a nut in the washer on this is a real simple solution no need to print all kinds of braces and brackets and and, and fasten this thing down um, I like I like the ability to be able to move this I got it sitting on a 16 inch by 16 inch ceramic tile I got some rubber isolation mounts under here that work, work really well. I had these laying around, but I think you can get these, um, you can order these on Amazon, just rubber isolation mounts, and they do a good job of kind of keeping the vibration from vibrating the whole entire table. It works good. All right, so all we're going to do is mark this off real quick. Uh, blacking it up with some sharpie here so I can see my scribe lines okay so our dimension across that way is 470 thousandths just gonna take this scribe it across boom okay in the other direction it's 960 most of these dimensions aren't that critical Half a 960, 480. That's for our dimple. Yeah, that's directly in the middle. And just for, for kicks, let's mark the center the other way. Half a 470 is 235. Yeah. So there goes our center mark for the dimple and we're just going to take a quarter inch drill bit maybe a little bit bigger and just dimple it with the drill bit so the rod can't move out of there I'm trying to do this with simple tools here so anybody so anybody can do it uh, I'm using my bandsaw but you can you could literally do this with a hacksaw and a vise So that's what we end up with. Uh, we, now we got our little center mark for our drill bit. We're going to go drill this out. I'm just going to use a regular battery drill and a vise. I'm using uh, something a little bit bigger than a quarter inch for the dimple in the hole just so we're not fighting here. 
a little bit of slop gives us a little bit more play this is so this is a 9 30 seconds drill bit all we're doing is making a dimple so that the rod can't slide out of there and that'll do it that's all we need okay so the center of the height off this plate to the center of the tensioner in the front where our little dimple plate is going to go is one inch so now we just need to find the center of the drive pulley the drive pulley on the y-axis and measure up one inch and um, that'll be our the center for our hole smaller than one inch but just compensate a little bit now that mark from the edge of the plate to there is five and a quarter inches don't push too hard you don't want to blow out through the back of the, the acrylic all right well, we got lucky we didn't blow out all right good Okay, we're going to insert this little plate right in here, and it fits nice and snug, nice and cozy right in there. And it fits right in that dimple. And we're going to leave a little bit of extra rod here, so we're going to cut this. So I cut the rod, and then I... um. I sanded, I sanded, uh, I made it kind of like a bullet nose on, on both sides. So it'll fit nice in that dimple and it'll just make it easier to get the nut and the washer on. Okay, it's a little tricky getting this rod on. You got to kind of come in from the top, get it into the hole. Because the uh, stepper motor's in the way. Now, I guess you could take the stepper motor out, but I'm trying to do this as simple as possible. I had to, I, I, I back these nuts off so they don't get in the way of the stepper motor. I'm going in through here. Okay, then we... It's kind of stuck between this pulley and this over here. This is only quarter inch, so it just bends a little bit. We can get it in there. Now, before we get this buttoned up, we need to get this rod kind of close to where it needs to be. Everything we do on these printers is kind of tedious because everything's so small. Get that rod lined up with the dimples. That's nice. Now we can screw these nuts back. Now you could put a nylock instead of two nuts back here, but um, nylock is just harder to work with, especially when you got to screw these nuts back and forth. All right, let me get a 7 16th wrench here. And all we're doing is just putting a little bit of tension on it. And then when we, when we tighten up the belt, these two pieces, you know, they have a tendency to curl in. With that rod there, that's going to prevent that. And there's no need to tighten the crap out of it, really. There, it's tight now. Yeah, if anything, I'm bowed out just a little bit. Doesn't take much. And I'm gonna take that jam nut and turn it up against the other one. And that's it. Those two nuts are tied against each other. Now we can tension up this belt. Wow, that is awesome. I can go as tight as I want with this now and nothing's going to happen here. 
See that? I'll give you a shot of what it looks like towards the back too. See that? See that rod right there? Let me give you a shot from underneath. See that? Just clears that belt. The belt doesn't touch the rod. Now if you want a little more clearance you can just drill the hole just a, a tad lower than I did. And that's it. Simple. See where that little plate went right in there? Let me see if I can get this on macro. See that little plate? I dimpled the end of the rod. It really can't go anywhere because the rod is stuck between the tensioner this way and the plate this way. So I mean there's a little little movement in there but it ain't gonna move once it's set. See that? Real easy. And it beats watching your printer print for 24 hours to make braces for this thing. And there's the hole around the back. Alright, that's a pretty simple solution to strengthening this uh, this Y-axis and, and giving some counter tension to the uh, belt tensioner. Simple solution, um, real easy, and I think I'm going to do one for the X-axis also. Uh, that one's going to be a little more elaborate, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. So if you like this video, please like subscribe down below and share it with your friends thanks